I do a live training every day at 8 p.m. GMT, and three times I have been asked now to have a look at Cree. Have I used Cree? Do you think Cree's a good idea? So now I've got to go and subscribe and use it and tell you whether it's any good and whether it's worth subscribing to Cree rather than another video generator. And as I am subscribed to Runway Unlimited, it's a very good test. So let's have a look at Cree and tell you what I think. Firstly, I want to say that Cree is a product that was very exciting about a year ago when they were creating instant images. So they've changed what they're doing and I like it. Let's have a look. There we go. This is is the wonderful Cree. I do I do like their idea. I do think it's a great idea and I see there's a couple of other products doing this kind of thing where they've got not their own generator but they're basically using APIs of the other generators. I like this. Um, so let's have a look round. Let's give you a quick overview what it can do. We'll generate some images. I do it with Runway um, because it's fast but just go through it. So here's Cree, video generation, real-time instant AI generation images, and then upscale images and videos. I like that as well. And down here, we've got mini apps, logo illustrations, and AI patterns. Let's just go through the quick menu, and then let's go and do some stuff. So we've got gallery. So this is where you can see all the other images that they have created. You've got different sections up here with minimalism. I'd like that one. Uh, anime. I always get anime as one of the questions from people. Uh, military space. I'd like that one as well. But yeah. And then we've got generate real time, which is their old legacy product. Image, video, an animator. To subscribe, to get video, it looks like you can't do the $10 a month. You've got to go for the mid one, which is $35 a month, which is fair enough. And because you can get four, I'll go through that in a second. And animator, which is basically looks like their um, editor kind of thing. We'll have a look at that as well. I did that a long time ago, so I just re um, look at that. Assets is what I've created. This is the old, you can see how long ago, it's November 14th, 2023. I think I tried to animate my logo there. And these are some of the images I created on the amazing Flux. As you can see, they are stunning, as always, with that little cheeky one, Flux. Then we've got Enhance. So we've got video and image update, and then the other exciting one, which I've seen a lot now, which is gonna be kind of standard, I think, is the Cree Train. So this will be a LoRa, I guess, and you'll be able to train products and people for basically images, and then you'll be able to animate them. What I do like is the idea of cross pollination where you can take any image and use it in any video generator i like that idea whether it is cost efficient and fast is another question so let's go and generate something so i'm just going to show you the the, the real time if you haven't seen this this is where you take an image hopefully it won't do that um and we're going to go um Man standing in a field. Yeah, and as it, as you type it in, it will create, not that I can spell field, it will create a image for you. There you go, man standing in field. So it's kind of got this as a, a an idea. And then what you do, you can move it around and it will change the image as well. If you haven't seen that, that's what Cree was originally um, famous for, and they got lots of reviews, massive uh, people interviewed them. I can't remember the guy um, from the Americans kind of Dragon Den kind of um, show to interview him on there. So that's that. Let's go to image. 
this is exciting. This this is exciting for me, being able to choose your weapon kind of thing here. So down here is the exciting bit. We've got flux, fast model. And this is what I love about this, is it tells you how long it's going to take to generate and what you're going to get. Very obvious, but it's um, not really said on a lot of the other the uh, other sites how long it's going to take and everything else. So I'm going to go through it so it gives you some idea. But so flux, four images, five seconds, five, 14 compute units, whatever that is. I guess that's from your from your um, membership and then styles. Ideogram 2.0. First of all, Flux is excellent. I'll give you my view on that. The basic Flux is just, as you can see, that was basic Flux, which I just did. Ideogram 2.0. New slower frontier model. I don't think it's slow. I think it's pretty quick, but uh, two images, 30 seconds, 114 compute units. Ideogram Turbo. Oh, maybe that's the one I normally use. Distill frontier model. That's brilliant. Um, oh, let's go back. Flux 1.1 Pro. If you've used Pro, you know, absolutely amazing. And video generation from Flux is outstanding. It really is outstanding. Two images. I keep moving it, don't I? Two images. I want to go over it. Um, two images. There we go. Two images. 10 seconds, 114 custom ratios new slow frontier model and then i've done a vi i've done a video on this front the the pro ultra is epic and fast 30 seconds yeah we were getting eight seconds uh 171 compute units custom ratios yeah let's use ultra because it is just amazing right we're we gonna put in cyborg in london generate okay two images let's see how fast it goes but yeah we were we were using it on um replicate and it was eight seconds there you go you can see how fast it is it's epic really nice they're going to be terrible now i said that but let's have a look here we go finishing off Bosh. No editing. Always give you some idea of the length of time it takes. This one looks a bit ill, that one. Okay, and as you can see, go in here. The background's not perfect, but as you can see, very very detailed and it, and video loves this stuff okay so there we go on the generate but so we go video and show you that as well and then i'll go back to those images so we've got down here again we've got different models so you've got four different companies five different models i still don't know how to say that name haolu conch in in Chinese is the word. Highest quality model, 10 minutes. Okay. This is why I use runway as well, because it's like 30 seconds. But Luma, one minute, fast, flexible model. I haven't seen the speed of Luma in that. So that I might use that to, to do this one. Fast cinematic model, one minute. Kling standard, 10 minutes. Kling Pro, 10 minutes, but uh, higher quality, complex scenes. Let's use Luma because I don't normally use Luma. Um, let's do an image. Just done an image there. What should we do? Let's do something I haven't done. That is a Luma image, a flux image. Okay, let's do this one. This is from a story that I'm creating a series. So. Uh, men around fire to give it the best chance. We're just going to do that image to generate. It's basically, is it going to come back? No, you won't be able to see it. But yeah, it's basically some caveman sitting around a, a fire. Let's see if it does it in a minute. OK, 
Okay, good. I like this. I do like a indication of how long it takes. It really helps with with some of the models. It takes ten minutes, but feels like about two hours, doesn't it? It's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I like this. I I, I do like the combination. Maybe I'm missing a trick. I I have been working with runway because of the speed. Fundamentally, that outweighs any benefit of a 10 minute generation. Because in the end, I can do maybe 12 generations in that time. So you kind of think, you know, if I did it 12 times, I'm gonna get what, what I want anyway. That's good, good. Let's see how fast it comes out and see what we get. But I think the power, which I haven't showed you yet, which I will do. Okay, lots of morphing. It's terrible there. Yeah, sometimes that's why Luma, I do worry for Luma sometimes. It's just not, not as excellent as I think it is. And I, I think with lots of generations, you get it. But yeah, okay. So, you know, if you've generated any video, you'll know that doesn't always work out. We could go three or four times on that and see what happens. You can extend it, which is good. You reuse parameters, parameters and copy the prompt. Cool. Right, let's go back to assets. This is the cool thing. This is, this is what really got me excited is, come on, where's my stuff? Oh, it's gonna crash, is it? No, it's the, the connection is terrible. So let's see what we got. Oh, it is gonna crash, good. Sorry, Cree. It's my connection. Don't blame the software. Don't blame the software, it's my connection. So I wanted to animate this because it was so cool. So you go into your images, so that was done with Flux, and then this is the magic, isn't it? That, to generate a, a video from your image. Let's go back to, so I'm not gonna wait 10 minutes, I'm gonna do runway from here, and see what we get on that one. And the other thing that is done, which I should have explained, is it's already put the prompt in there, and I do that lots of times where I actually use the prompt from the image and put it back into the video generator. First of all, as it details exactly what's in there, as well as the model going over and analyzing that, that image, you've got a prompt as well. And then you can work on that prompt to do more stuff. Let's see how fast we are. Are we faster than Luma? Probably not. Here we go. But yeah, you know, I understand there's more benefit. That was quick. Let's have a look at what comes out. Pretty good. I'm sure we could do more with that. Five seconds and we could do longer and everything else. So we'll stop that. The, so the exciting bit for me is being able to create multiple different platforms using the same image. Okay, so I see the, maybe the next stage where you've got, you create a prompt and then you get four versions of different um, models. I think that would be very powerful. Then you can see the best one and pick that one and use that down. Uh, also with video, so these models are gonna get faster. 10 minutes is a long time for a uh, complex generation. So I see that as well. Um, the other thing I've seen very recently is the um, mid, I don't know if you've seen it, the mid journey images where you just roll the mouse over the image and it becomes a video. So that's going to be interesting as well. This is a kind of a kind of start of all of those things. So I like it. Would it make me cancel runway? I don't know. Uh, I've signed up for a month, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to do some more training tonight on it and see what people think. Uh, the credits are not 
as unlimited as as runway but yeah it's a good thought so maybe for you it could be perfect and if you're creating various different designs and videos i would say it's probably a nice try to to test out whether it's going to work for you but yeah cree there we go so thanks for watching very kind of you to be here and i will look forward to seeing you on the next one and love to hear your thoughts and your comments about what you've seen and see if it's going to be for you thanks again see you soon